Shalom, Ko, all Yisraeli, Yahweh Barak. To you servants of Almighty Yahweh that are scattered throughout the Olam, those are listening by Viv live stream, whether it be our Ark, our Ahot of the Imuna of the Faith Yahshua HaMashiach, or our enemy. We do greet you all that are listening on this beautiful Shabbat Eve here at Teshua Community. I am Zakin Yeramia sitting here live at Shema Yisraeli. Shalom to you all, Ko Yisrael. I do want to continue somewhat as I've been teaching out of Tehillim in chapter 17. One of the things I would like to express to us tonight for the time are what paths do we take, Yisrael? What paths should we take? And how are we kept? In these last and evil hours, the Yom Akarif, the last days, are we kept by our own way, our own manner of thinking, or are we kept by the Torah, the Mitzvah of Almighty Yahweh, our actions, how we respond, how we deal with life day by day? Do we apply the Mitzvah? Do we apply Yahshua HaMashiach? Is Yahshua HaMashiach, the Torah of Almighty Yahweh, is He the way, the word, the Dabar? Is He our life? Is He our strength? Is it He that guides us? Dawid makes a statement in Tehillim. He says, by applying the Torah to my life, and we will get to this, he says, I have kept me. He did not say that Yah has kept me. He didn't say that you have kept me. He did not say it was by the armies that are at my hand. Those that are with me, my warriors, at my area to decree, they are willing to accomplish and to uh, execute that task. But he says, I, me, myself, have kept me. How did he keep himself? By what means? By what way? Are we able to keep ourselves, Israel? Sure we are. We are able to keep ourselves. But it has to be according to the Torah, and we have to be led by the Ruach HaKodesh. Hallelujah. Again, Shalom, Ko Yisraeli, those of you that are scattered, across the globe, across the Olam, the earth. Again, we do Barak Abba Yahweh for you all, for your attendance, for listening tonight, for your support, and for your prayers. We must understand the Israel, the even us here at Teshua community, and we know that even you, are, you that are out there, that we labor, we work for the essential things. Of course, all that we do, we should do it as unto Almighty Yahweh. Yet it comes a time where we should rest on the seventh day of the Shabbat. Coming in, making preparations. Sometimes it's a, it's a task. And when I say that, us or those of you that may work to get in, the tussle, the bustle of the world, traffic, things of that nature, they are about their business. But we are about our Abba's business. And if we're not careful, careful, we'll find ourselves being caught up in that Israel. So let us make sure that we make the appropriate time that we predict the necessary things that it takes for us to enter into the Shabbat of Almighty Yahweh with ease, with rest, reassurance in Yahshua HaMashiach, that we not bring a burden into his house, that when we sit down, that when we join here, Shema Yisrael, or whether you're listening on the broadcast on the Shabbat, or whatever time you listen, that we take time for Almighty Yahweh. We clear our minds of the cares of the life, of this life, and cast all of our cares upon Yahshua HaMashiach, for he does care. He harvests the house of Yisrael much. Hallelujah. And I told Yahweh for his mercy and for his ahava. The phone number here is 
6222, call in with your testimony, your comments. Whatever you have on your left tonight, Israel, right, the phone lines are open. 843-658-6222. On the past couple of uh, Shabbat Eves, I have taught out of Tehillim 15, when that way he says, who shall abide under the tabernacle or in the tabernacle of Almighty Yahweh, in his buyer, in his house. Moved on to 16, where Dawid, he has confidence in Almighty Yahweh, and he shows his confidence by his prayer, his mitzvah, his, his palah unto Almighty Yahweh, as he continually speaks to Yah, prays unto Yahweh that he will preserve, that he will keep, knowing that he is our refuge. And it is Yahweh that sets his ways before us, Yisrael, his path for us to walk in. And those paths are straight, and they're narrow. It's a narrow way, Yisrael. We know that the broad way, which allows anything, you look at the highways, they broaden them, two, four, six lanes, that it may accompany every type of vehicle, any size of a vehicle, whether you're a fast driver or a slow driver. The wide paths of the highway are to uh, assist those, the rushing, the traffic. But yet, this highway of Almighty Yahweh, his Dabar, it is a straight and it's a narrow way. It does not allow just anything to pass through or by his Torah. Hallelujah. You must meet the Torah. On a tight one lane, two lane, one way in, one way out, there's only one direction. You can't go to the left. You can't go to the right. There are times where I have traveled on the interstates and pulled off on the ramp. You get off on the ramp, the wrong ramp, you almost have to go a quarter to half a mile, sometimes a mile, to find a turnaround because there's no place to turn around. We should not try to find any way except the path, the way of Torah. And that way he understood that, Yisrael. He says here in Tehillim chapter 17, verse 1. He says unto Almighty Yahweh, Hear the right, Almighty Yahweh. Hear the Sadiq, the things that are just, the things that are refined. Your righteousness, O Yahweh. And he says to attend. Just bow down, Almighty Yahweh. Lend your ear unto my cry. Don't we want Yahweh to hear our cry? Our pleading, the cry of our heart, Yisrael. Many times it don't have to be so much vocally, but yet our minds, our lives cry out unto Almighty Yahweh. He says to attend unto my cry. Give ear unto my prayer. My tifla. Give ear unto my prayer, my speech, Almighty Yah. That goes not out of feigned lips. He says these lips are they're not boastful lips. They're not lips that seek to be heard or verbose, but just to be heard by your ears alone, Almighty Yahweh. He says here in verse 2, Let my sentence, my judgment, your judgment from your throne, Almighty Yahweh, it is just, it is right, my sentence. I have sinned, I have fallen short. And your judgment is a just recompense of reward, Almighty Yahweh. He said, but let my sentence, my judgment come forth from your presence, from your pala, your face, from your throne, Almighty Yahweh. He said, let your eyes behold, observe the things that are equal. But you know that Yahweh, he judges us equally, Yisrael Yah, that one sin is not greater than the other. It all brings a separation from Almighty Yahweh. He said, you behold the things that are equal. 
the things that are just. Your judgment are of a just weight, Almighty Yahweh. You did not put more on us than we could bear, but yet your judgment, they're true, they're right. He says, let your eye behold the things that are equal. Verse 3. He said, you have proved my love. You have tried me. The Torah used here the word prove as balkane or to smolter or to heat, to heat up. One thing about certain metals, Yisrael, it is important not to overheat them. So you allow them to somewhat simmer, to remain at a constant temperature that the impurities may be consumed or brought to the top of the draw so that it may be removed. So you don't want to overheat or get it too hot, and yet you don't want it too cold. You want to get it to that sustained temperature. So he says, you have proved my love. You have tried me. You have searched me by your Torah, by your judgment. We need the judgment of Almighty Yahweh to continue to search and to prove us by fire, not to consume us, but to allow the impurities to be lifted up from the levels and from the heart and from the mind of Yisrael. We don't want to be consumed in the alpha and the anger of Almighty Yahweh, but we need Yahweh to try us by fire. He said, you have proved my love. He says, you have visited me in the night season, in the darkness, in the darkness of my, my mind. When I could not find my way, when I could not see, you visited me. What? To bring your word, your Torah, your mishvah unto me, that it may lead me, that your word will be a light unto my path, unto my feet. He said, you have visited me in the night, you have tried me, and shall find nothing. So you have tried me, Almighty Yahweh. You've tried my love. You've proven me. You have sifted my heart, my mind, continually, and yet you have found nothing. I am pure. I am clean. He says that I am purposed. He said I have dedicated my life I have purposed, I have set my mind in order, I have set my, my, my thoughts aright. He said, I am purposed that my mouth, that my theft, my mouth, my tongue, my speech, my mouth, I have purposed that my mouth shall not sin, shall not transgress. Hallelujah. Have we set our mouth, Yisrael, that we not transgress the Torah of Almighty Yahweh? That we not go over the boundaries that Yah has set through His mitzvah? That we not try to overshoot or overshadow the Torah of Almighty Yahweh, Yahshua HaMashiach? He said that my mouth not transgress he says here in verse 4 he says concerning the works of man of Adam the flesh man which you have created what are the works of the flesh Israel is it not the things that bring forth sin when it is finished maybe pleasure for just a moment but yet, the end thereof, it is death. The lust of the flesh, the pride of life, those things that Yah abhor, Yisrael Yah. He said, concerning the works of Adam, my works. Do we consider our works, Yisrael Yah? Do we consider that our works and what we think and what we do it does not line up with Torah. Have we considered that? Have we found ourselves in certain situations enough time, Yisrael, that unless we walk according to the Torah of Almighty Yahweh and His instruction, that it does not work, it does not bring life? He says, concerning the works 
of man. By your Torah, by your Debar, by your word of my, Almighty Yahweh, by the word of your lips, you have spoken it. By the word of your lips, Almighty Yahweh, he says, by that I have kept me. I have guarded my mind. I have guarded my heart. I have watched my feet and my steps. Why? Because the light of Yahshua, the light of your Torah, it leads and it guides me. It charges me. It causes me to, to walk circumspect that my life will be guarded, that my life will be protected, that the life of Yahshua HaMashiach will be preserved. He said, by the word of your lips, I have kept me, I have preserved me from the past. Did I talk about the Dabar, the way of Yah? His Torah is what keeps us from the past of the flesh, from the past of the lust of the mind and of the heart. He has kept me from the paths of the destroyer. The past of the enemy. Don't you know, Yisrael, Yah, and I have said this more than one time, you've heard this from more than just my mouth, that we are our worst enemies. It's because we, as a people, as a nation, we do not walk according to the past and the instruction of Almighty Yahweh in Yahshua HaMashiach. When we do not walk in those ways, we're in the past of destruction. And the past that leads us Unto death, separation from Almighty Yahweh. He said, by the word of your lips, what you have spoken, I have walked in them, Almighty Yahweh. They have tried me. They have caused me to judge where I put each step along this path. That I not shoot, that I not turn out of the direction which you have set me. By the words of your lips, I have kept me from the paths of the destroyer. Are we kept from the paths of the destroyer, Yisrael? Are we kept from the paths that our mind continuously try to go here and go there? If we do not allow the Torah, the Mishra of Almighty Yahweh, if we don't meditate on those things constantly, Yisrael, our minds will be taken by every wind of doctrine, by every thought that does not extend Yahshua HaMashiach or the life of the Torah, the Mishra of Almighty Yahweh. It be taken here, taken there by every thought and by every wind, Yisrael, Yah, out of the past of the destroyer. Hallelujah. We must remain in the Dabar, the way, the path that Yahweh has elected us as a people to walk in. His Torah, his mitzvah, walking in all of his judgments, Yisrael, Yah. We must do that as a people. And it goes on in verse 5. He said, Uphold my going, my traversing, the way that I go, each step that I take. This should be our prayer, Yisrael. We must understand these are Tehillim, these are Psalms. He said, uphold my goings, my step, everywhere that I go. I, I pray that every place that I go, everywhere where I place my feet, that Yahweh will uphold me. By his Torah, by his Mishvah. Uphold my goings in your paths. He said, let not my mind take its, take its own journey or its own way. Because those ways, Yisrael, will lead us from the Torah of Almighty Yahweh. It will lead our minds astray. Uphold my goings in your paths, Almighty Yahweh, that my footsteps... Do you hear that, Yisrael? The footsteps. Each foot must be planted, assured. It must be established on the sure foundation of Yahshua HaMashiach, the Word, the Torah, the Mitzvah of Almighty Yahweh. There's no other way. Any other way will cause us to slip into sin, will cause us to fall, hallelujah, into the past of the destroyer, Yisrael. We must walk according to what Yahweh has charged us as a people. Hallelujah. We have a call tonight. Hallelujah. Shalom. Who's calling and where are you calling from? Well, Shalom, my friend. This is Riak. I had to call our precious Zachim Yaramaya. I tell you, when you began 
this teaching on tonight and how you read how David said, and I have kept. Yes. I, you know, my old friend, I got so excited. I said that the telephone line should, should blow up because I, I think the vast populace of the people of Israel, we as a people, yes. we miss those vital essence of truth. Yes. That can catapult us. Yes. To a degree of excellence that is greater than we could ever expect. So yes. I said to my issue, I said to Raphael, write that down. Mm-hmm. I was in day for the moment I was the matter of fact I was taking a shower. Hallelujah. And I said, write that down, turn it up on that thing, turn it up as loud as you can because I wanted to hear it. Yes. This is not some pretense. Yes. And that's all that resonated in my mind that, mm. uh, as you read that, I, for I have kept. Yes. For I have kept. Yes. The ways of Yah. Yes. That's profound, my friend. And I think that, you know, I, I, that although we read things, mm-hmm. and I'm not going to uh, take up the time on the broadcast tonight, but I, this. I had very little energy, but when I heard those three, those four words, for I have kept. Yes. I have guarded. I have been enthusiastic. I have watched and protected. Yes. I've allowed that to save me and to guard my mind, my life, the essence, the substance of me. Mm-hmm. He said, I have Kept. Yes. Now, mm-hmm. son, to me, I was okay. That I, I, I tell you, I said, yes. I said, my, what mm-hmm. a profound utterance of teaching that the vast population mm-hmm. will miss those four most profound, powerful words. Yes. That could open up windows of great understanding. Of all matter, yeah. Yes. I, I, go ahead, my Zakir. I'm sorry. Yes, no, go ahead, Ray. I was just, you know, in that same fashion, even when I had pulled up those few scriptures and read across that, every time I would read those lines, my my conscious, my mind would, would almost go, uh, if I if I could use this a, a blank, it was it would put me in a position where I'm at all to where even those very same words that that we had spoke. He, he knew he couldn't be kept no other way. Sure. And, and even as, as we work outside of the community, or even been on the community, it's only because, as he spoke, because I have kept, or because we keep the Torah and the Mitzvah of Almighty Yahweh, that it keeps our, the past or our feet from sliding, from Absolutely. slipping. Yeah. Knowing that Yahshua HaMashiach, because we stand, we know where we place each step. That we understood that, that, it keeps us because we kept. It, it, there are those that they said they have every excuse not to, but knowing that we can keep the Torah of Almighty Yahweh, that our foots not slip. It's just, it, it just, you know, it's just as you said, real. It just, it's just so profound. It's just yeah. such an enormous truth. Hallelujah. Continue on what you're saying, Raya. Hallelujah. Well, you know, Zakay. You, you know, when you said that, you know, I, I, you, you, you cannot. If we truly have this testimony of Yeshua, yes, you think about what he said, even as Yachahana and Eretz. Read it again if you have to. But you know, he said to to us as we are the Talmudim, the disciples. He says, he told us even then, if you keep the mitzvah or if you keep my mitzvah, the instructions, the wisdom of command that teach you, he says you shall also, or he gave them the, the reward of what the reward shall be. Uh, mm. That He said that you will walk or abide in the same love that I walk mm. in. Yes. And then, as David said, you know, because he came from the same lineage yes. out of that house, he said, even so, I have kept my avas. He said, I've kept Yah's commandments. I've kept truth. I've kept the mitzvah. And he said, because of that, because I've kept that, he said, I, as you said of David, he says, uh, because of that, and now 
I can abide in his great Ahava. Yes. And so, you know, it, there's the, the variance or the very profoundness of that, those four words, for I have kept. Yes. That one allowed that to preserve, and even in the midst of the greatest calamities. Yes. And the opposition. You began this by you said you know you we we we, we greet you all those that are listening by whatever form of medium you're listening, and even our enemies, mm-hmm. even our enemies. So you know we must keep, and He has granted unto us the power. You know Zachin uh, Ramiyal. Many times, even myself, as I came up. In this religious whore, and mm-hmm. taught the concepts of this religious whore concerning yes. the ruach or ruach hachodash, and the power of that the ruach will keep us, guard our minds. That we allow this, as you have, uh, as you have uh, taught us tonight, allow this living, mm. this power that makes us strong. It is the chayil. Yes. It makes us strong, Zakim. Yes. We have no excuse. That's why you said, Daddy said, you, you know, I, I love the way you prefaced that in the beginning. You, we, we're looking for everything else we say in that, but Daddy said, for I have kept. Yes. And that's what the Ru'ah does. It brings a life in us as we continue uh, to, uh, to, to, to discipline ourselves in the Torah it becomes more vivid and alive in us. Yes, that's true. Let me say to you that I have joined our precious Zakhim tonight, you have to understand that this man just got in right before the Shabbat. He's been out all day, and uh, I, I called him on his cell phone. He was in traffic. Yes. And I said, you must go on tonight. Uh, I've been here, but I've been working today, but I see why, yeah, even I said to Aksimion, even to the last minute uh, that he was able to uh, come and divulge with us this great truth and wisdom. This take the passion of strength that he said, I will do it. So yes. I, I, I'm blessed tonight, my friend. I have a little yeah, energy. Bro. I don't need much energy because it's bedtime. But I tell you, that is a profound <laughs> statement, the utterance yes. of that uh, that we all okay. I want to say one last thing before I close, before I uh, allow or grant someone else to call. You know, Zakane, it was one thing. Uh, am I still here, Zakane? Yes, yes, you're still there. Okay. Yes, you know, it's one thing that you're about here. But there was, there was, a, there was a, um, there was an utterance that Shaul, knowing that his young compatriots fellow labor just like I am with you. And he knew the discipline of Timothy. He knew this young man, and he knew that his time was coming to its conclusion. Yes. So as he wrote unto this precious young man that he realized the great beauty that had been laid upon him by mm-hmm. his email, his Grandmother, that they had, he had seen the beautiful of Allah's discipline in them, and through them he could see the very strength yes. of the head, the men. But he would always, even in the midst of his great battles, and we should, as Shaul said, uh, that in all that you have granted me to endure, ya, he says this, just like for I have kept, mm-hmm. Shaul says, he says, for I have fought. Mm-hmm. I have disciplined myself. I have fought. Yes. And he did not. He, he lists, you know, son, he did not say, I fought a reasonable battle. Right. I fought a battle that I tried. But he used the word, have a thump. Battle that is excellent. Yes. Great battles. Yes. Monumental battles. Yes. Mm-hmm. Battles that are beyond construct or descriptive superlatives to express it. Yes. This is what he put into this young, uh, laborious heart. He said, fought, I have. Yes. By the power of this living Torah, I have fought. He told him an excellent mm. battle. 
I have fought back. Yes. I've stayed in the midst of the great battle. I have not given up. And then he says, I have. Yes. I have finished. I have completed. Mm. I've come to the resolution. Yes. I have finished my. Yes. That's what he said. I finished the direction, the direct. Mm -hmm. I finished the course that Yah has laid out before me. And you know, I think, man, ah, mm -hmm. ah, this, you, you know, Zachary, you know, that's, you know, as you brought out in the beginning, this is what the Torah does. It is the, it is the path. It is, it is what leads us. It is the course that we must take. Yes. We yes. can't take it as a course. He said, I have finished the course. Yes. And then he said, I have kept, I have guarded, I have mm -hmm. Shema, I have kept yes. the immune now, the immune, the faith. Yes. And we all must do that, Zakane. So That's I, so true. with all your heart labor today, I commend you, my ax. I want to call to strengthen your heart, to your that. hand. I know you're tired, but. You know, we all, we got to do like Shaul said. We got yes. to fight this tough battle. So mm -hmm. you have blessed my heart abundantly, and that is not some kind of false pretense. Yes. My Israel can testify to what I'm saying. I said, turn it off. Hallelujah. I want to hear that. I want, I'm like, stop greeting. That. Go ahead, man, and teach. So we greet you, my friend. May God's riches rest upon you. And may his strength uh, bless your heart, your family, yes. and all those that are in association with you, my friend. I so appreciate the teaching tonight. All right? Yes. So that, Rayak. Shalom. All right. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat, my friend. Shalom. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. Hallelujah. 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 Uh, I do told the Yahweh for that call from our Rayak that we, Yisrael, even concerning the message on tonight, Yisrael, we must... I understand and realize as a people, Israel, there's, there's, there's no other way. There's no other path that we can take that will give us the high, the high yield, the, the life that Almighty Yahweh has given unto us. He has given us life, Israel. We, we were people that was dead, don't you understand, unto sin without any life, no direction, no path. But yet Yahweh has laid a path for us and said, you just walk in this. I give you the essence of the speech of my very mouth that you may have the high, the life. And all we have to do, Yisrael, is to abide and to walk in it. And just by doing that, Yisrael, Obeying the Torah of Almighty Yahweh. And as Dawei spoke, because I have done this, I have kept me. That's all that keeps us, Yisrael. Is the establishment, the sure foundation of the very word, the Dabar of Almighty Yahweh. Let, let me read this here. Even in the Bereshith, the beginning of all things. It says here in Genesis chapter 26, verse 5, concerning Abram. Tell you what, I'm going to read. Let me just start at verse 1 to verse 5. Let me read that, Yisrael. Again, you're welcome to call in tonight, Yisrael. The phone number is 843-658-6222. You have heard the, the voice of our Rayat Dawid here at Teshua Community a great strength, even unto my life, have nurtured me in the Torah of Almighty Yahweh, has been a great example before us as even being the young men here at Teshua community. But I do want to read this here, Bereshit chapter 26. It says, And there was a famine in the land beside the first famine that were in the days of Abram. Abraham, Abram. And it says, And Isaac went unto Abimelech the king of Palestine, unto Gara. And it says, And Yahweh appeared unto him and said, Go not down into Mizraim, dwell in the land which I shall tell you of. He said, I shall instruct you. I will show you the way. I will show you the path. Obey my Mizraim and Torah. I will 
lead you unto the rich, the land, the property, the possession that I desire you to dwell. And it says in verse 3, so sojourn in this land. He said, and I will be with you. Yahweh's not going to be with us in any other way, Yisrael, except we walk in the path that he has instructed us. He said, I will be with you. He said, I will barak you for unto you and unto your Zerah, your seed. He said, I will give all these countries. And I will perform the oath that I have promised, which I swore unto Abram, your father. He says in verse four, and I will make your Zerah to multiply as the stars of the Shemaims. And I will give unto your sea all these countries and your sea shall all the nations of the earth be Barak. Only if he abide in the path and go in the direction that Yahweh has instructed. And Lewis says here in verse five, he said, because that Abram, he obeyed, he executed, he accomplished my voice, my debar, my word. And kept, he kept. This is, isn't that what it said there, Israel? Yah? Did not he abide in what Yahweh had instructed him? him. He shall mar, he kept, he guarded, he observed, he gave heed. He also had the charge from Almighty Yahweh that he stayed, that he abided in what he had commanded him. To keep and to retain. That's what it says here in Torah. To treasure up, to keep with bonds, to restrain, to observe. Not only that, but to celebrate. How often do we celebrate the Mishvah, the Torah, the commandments of Almighty Yahweh, Yisrael How do we celebrate? We celebrate by keeping. By them being kept, Yisrael To observe, to celebrate, to preserve, and to Protect. How many of us protect the Torah, Yisrael? To guard one's self and to keep oneself to refrain, to abstain, and to regard. Hallelujah. That's what Abram did, Yisrael. That's what he did. He said, because that Abram obeyed my voice and kept my charge my commandments and my statutes and my laws Israel do we keep have we kept as that we said because your Torah the path that you have instructed me he said I have kept me from the past of the destroyer hallelujah I want to abide in the path I want to be kept to guard to watch to defend, to fight even unto the finish, to the end of all things, Israel, that I may keep or preserve the Torah, the life, the Mishra, the Dabar, the word of Yahweh in this vessel, this body, this earthen vessel, this body of clay. Sure, it is an unclean thing. It is amongst the weakest and the most fragile of vessels in the house of Almighty Yahweh, Yet he has set a responsibility that is so profound. We need to look and search back even to that message that I have taught on concerning the vessels, the clay vessel. A vessel where it is despised, does not shine like all the other vessels. Yet it was to that vessel to take away, to purge. Or it was a vessel to, that was sought to cleanse away, to take away even the sin, Israel. Hallelujah. As long as I am in the vessel, in the hands, and in the eyes of Almighty Yahweh in his bayet. Hallelujah. Back to verse 4 to Helium, chapter 17. Concerning the works of Adam of men, by the word of your lips, Almighty Yahweh, I have kept me from the paths of the destroyer. Verse 5. He said, uphold my goings in your path, Almighty Yahweh, that my footsteps not slip. 
You know, there's so many things that could go out of alignment, go wrong with the body, pulled ligaments, stressed muscles, nerves. When you slip just at the right time, it throws everything, the structure, the posture of the body out of balance, Yisrael. But if we, as that we abide in the Torah and we walk in the paths of Almighty Yahweh, Yisrael, knowing Yahshua HaMashiach, He is our sure, sure foundation. That there will be no need that we will be ashamed, that we will slip, that we will fall. The Torah says that a Sadiq man, he falls. Does he not, Yisrael? But yet, it is not to sin. It is not to the weak and badly elements of the world. This is a man that falls prostrate before Almighty Yahweh as he continues in the past, as he keeps, as he walks. He doesn't allow his mind, his left to rise up against the judgment. Did not Yahweh said, your judgments, Almighty Yahweh, let your sentence, let your Torah, your misfire, your commandments come forth from your throne from your face, Israel, Almighty Yahweh. That's what he cried. That's what he pleaded unto Almighty Yahweh. Of oh, all my goings in your past, at my footsteps, not slip. He said, I have called upon you, Almighty Yahweh, for you will answer me, O Yahweh Almighty. He says, incline your ear unto me, why, Yisrael, and hear my speech. Because his heart was tried. Yahweh constantly smoltered or allowed the fire, the heat of his Torah to purge and to cleanse. And he says here in verse 7, he says, show your marvelous steadfast. When something is steadfast, does it slip, Yisrael, does it fail? Does it fall? It is continuous, Yisrael. His Ahava, his faithfulness, it is continuous. It does not fit. It does not fall. It does not fall short of the expectation which Yahweh has declared, Yisrael. He says, show forth your marvelous, steadfast, loving kindness, O you that deliver by your right hand. Who? Who does Yah deliver? Does he deliver every man, Yisrael? He certainly delivered Dawid. He understood this, Yisrael. He said, you that deliver by your right hand them that take refuge. Hallelujah. We must take refuge in the hide the life, the debar, the word of Almighty Yahweh. He said, you deliver them. Your Yasha, your salvation and Yahshua HaMashiach, your Torah, them that you deliver, Almighty Yahweh, by your right hand, take refuge in you, and you from those that rise up against them. And it says here in verse 8, he says, keep me, Almighty Yah, Shammah. The same word, keep me, Almighty Yahweh, guard, observe me, take heed. As he has prayed so many times that we give ear, Almighty Yahweh, bow down. Barak me, Almighty Yahweh, keep me as the apple, the bath. That's what it means. The bath, the apple, the daughter. One thing about a true... Father and Avat, when it comes to his daughters, he knows that they need the protection. They need the strong arm and the strong hand. They need the, the ear. They need to be heard. They need to be listened to. More so than even the, the, the young man or the son. He said, keep me as the, the apple, as the bath, because I am the weaker vessel of mighty Yahweh. It is by obeying your Torah that I am strong, that I am kept. 
He said, keep me as the apple, as the bath of your eye. Hallelujah. Consider me, knowing that I am weak. I am the weaker vessel. Keep me as the bath of thy eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. I want to be under the shadow of the wings of Almighty Yahweh. I want to be as the the bath or for him to look upon me as the bath, knowing that I am nothing without him, that I'm nothing without my head, Yahshua HaMashiach. I am nothing without the Torah. I am nothing without his very, his very word, his dabar that comes forth out of his mouth. For by his word, I have kept me from the path of the destroyer. Every one of us should be able to confess that and proclaim that, to take grasp unto that, that I have kept me from the paths of the destroyer. Let me stop here for a moment, Israel. Y'all. Let me play a song here. Hallelujah. Toda Yah, for his mercy, for his Ahava, for this word tonight. Hallelujah. For my precious Ray out calling in. If he's the only one that has called in tonight, that I have rest assured. I am comforted in that. Hallelujah. I give Toda unto Yah. Someone else call in, 843-658-6222. How's the broadcast? How's it coming in tonight, Yisrael? We know you're listening. Call in, 843-658-6222. Hallelujah. calling from tonight? Shalom. Shalom, my Ark Zephaniah. Yahweh Barak. Yeah. 
Yes. Yo, we brought you, my uh, Shalom, Aunt Micaiah. I know you are, you all are listening. Hallelujah. Oh, yeah. Shalom, y'all Barak. How, how's everyone doing, my Aunt Micaiah? Uh, we all we all tough. To the uh, beautiful yeah. message, man. I just want to uh, call and tell you, glad that you came on tonight. I was wondering if you was or not, because I know you, you've been out today, so I figured you'd be, you'd be a little tired. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. A little, you know, the hustle and bustle is something when you, you know, even when you go out and you, you experience that, especially this time of the year, people just, they're crazy. The, the traffic, they, they drive crazy. They have no kind of uh, consideration from one vehicle to the other. I mean, it's just, yeah. it, it's, it's a hodgepodge of mess, my uncle. If something was to break out, where, where you know, it's... It, what the, the people couldn't do nothing. You couldn't go anywhere, my uh, the oh, traffic yeah. in Charlotte in certain areas, the Ballantine area, the Marvin area. I mean, it's just a mess, you know. Especially on on you know on the Friday, the end of the week, people they're out yeah. getting their liquor and 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 planning their parties and things like that. It's just it's just so much confusion, my uh, you know. If if yeah. it wasn't as as Dawi says, if it wasn't for the Torah of Almighty Yahweh, that keeps us. You know, we we will be taken. By the same thing, my uh, Ain't by the no same doubt. thing. So I, I, I told the y'all, uh, I told the y'all uh, for his mercy and for his ahaba, my uh, hallelujah. Yeah, it was, it was meant for you to to teach this tonight, cause I, like you say, I out running around and just looking at the craziness, man, yes. going on around you. It's madness. You know, you 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 just if you ain't keeping the commandments, no. you, you you messed up. Yeah. Yes, my. Uh. That Every so day I, when I'm out there, that's that's all I ever think about. It's like man, keeping the commandments. Yes, you know, it's just all the things going on around you. It's, it's just so crazy. Yes, yes, it is my. You know, this is a as the Torah would say, it's an untoward generation. You know, they they they're not going forwards. My it's only things are just getting worse. They're going farther and farther back. From Torah, from the Mishnah, any kind of even natural law, my ark. It's all there's yeah. nothing out there that's wrong anymore. Nothing out there. Oh is yeah. Wrong. Everything you could you could be a Christian, you could be a Muslim, you could do, you, you could be anything. Yeah. And, and it's okay. You could do what you want, and it's okay. And it's oh, all right. Yeah. You know, Yahweh has given us a Torah and Dawid. Even as I read this, you know, even from the. Just from the simplicity of the truth, my uh, even as I read certain things, my uh, my mind is not able to physically grasp it or comprehend it. It's, it's just so profound, my uh, All I could do oh, yeah. is just allow the Torah to bring the revelation of truth, and then that revelation I apply. We, we must apply. It's, this is our life. This is our substance. This is what gives us strength. This is what gives us the endurance, my uh, to to yeah. press on and to desire to abide in the paths. Of Almighty Yahweh, Hallelujah! Yeah, Hallelujah. We, we we Barak to to have a a mind that that can uh, accept what Torah say. Yes, because you, you like you say you see all these people just going about their daily business. They don't have a clue. No, there's not not even a thought thought of, of Yah my uh, nothing. No, nothing. Hey, everybody out doing it, beastman shopping and mm-hmm. just. Uh, Losing their mind over the the, the the things that yes. that ain't gonna benefit them no kind of way. Just spending right. money on stuff that they don't need. Yes, yes, it's selling their souls. Uh, they, people, you know, it's crazy. They're spending money that they don't even have. My uh, right, don't even don't even have to, to possess something that I mean doesn't add an ounce to the life. It doesn't add anything uh, uh, to their their. Uh, the mind or anything, any kind of life, my up. It's it's just yeah. all death. They they're selling out unto death. Hallelujah. So I, I told I told y'all for his mishpah. I told y'all for you, my ark. For all my ark that are scattered out there. For ark Zephaniah that called in. I, I, I barack you all, my ark. And I'm not saying it just to be saying it, but I, I miss you. I, I miss you all. I know. I know. I, I had t- I had told uh, um, talked to my ish y'all about even. Sending you a text, I was was gonna discuss a little something with you, so we'll we'll I'll I'll make sure I get get to that, my uh. Okay. All right. 
something, that told something, something I want to do. Coming on tonight, man. I, I appreciate it. And, yes. Uh, we just uh, glad y'all get, got home safe. And, so do y'all, yes. And, uh, have a, a tough Shabbat. And All right. Tub, you, get, a, get some rest. All right. You too, my ox. Toda. Toda so All much. Right. Shabbat Shalom. All right. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I appreciate that call from my Ark. Micaiah, his Isha, his family there, Ark Zephaniah. Stay strong, my Ark Zephaniah. Y'all, we barack you. Let's hold on to the Torah, my Ark. That's all we have. There's, there's nothing in this life that we could do, that we could accomplish by our own feet that will amass to anything. But as long as you hold on to the testimony, to the Torah of Almighty Yah. We possess all things, my Zephaniah and Yahshua HaMashiach. Todiyah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me continue this song tonight. Yisrael, again, the phone number, 843-658-6222. You'll be here live with me, Zakan Yaramia, on Shema Yisrael. Hallelujah. for all things, Yisrael, his Ahava, his mercy, his patience, his kindness, as Dawid puts it, it is unfailing, it is everlasting, it is steadfast. Before I continue here in Tehillim, Yisrael, verse 7, I, don't, I want to move over to Deuteronomy, something I just looked at as the singing uh, was going forth. Deuteronomy chapter 32. I want to start at verse 1 through 10. There's a purpose I'm reading this, Yisrael. It somewhat sums up just a little of what I have spoken of tonight. Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 1. It says, To give ear, O you heavens, and I will speak and hear, O earth, you O lamb, the words of my mouth. He says that my doctrine, my words which I have established, my debar, shall drop as the rain, and my speech shall distill as the dew. It shall absorb into the ground. It shall distill. It says, as a small rain upon the tender herb, and as the showers upon the grass. And he says here, he proclaims this in verse 3, because I will publish the name of Yahweh, Ascribe you greatness unto our Abba. He said he is the rock. His work is perfect for all of his ways are judgment. A Abba of truth and without iniquity. He is just. Did I, I read as Dawid said Yahweh observe the thing which are 
equal, that are just. He is just and right. And it says here in verse 5, they have corrupted themselves. Who have corrupted them? Who has corrupted you? Who has corrupted us, Yisraeli? Where does the corruption come from? It says here, they have corrupted themselves. But we do not walk according to the statutes of Mishra of Almighty Yahweh and abide in the past that we keep the Torah of Almighty Yahweh. It causes us to corrupt, to corrupt ourselves. They have corrupted themselves. Nobody else has done it, Israel. Your corruption has come by yourself because you have not walked according to the Torah of Almighty Yahweh. Not our brother, not my sister, but it's me, Almighty Yahweh. For they have corrupted themselves. Their spot is not the spot of the children of Almighty Yahweh. It says they are perverse and a crooked generation. Verse 6. Do you thus requit, Almighty Yahweh, O foolish people and unwise, is not he your Abba? Has, is, is he not the one that has created you, that has made us, that has chosen us, that has picked us as a people unto him, Yisrael, that have brought you? He has bought us, Yisrael. He has paid for us. With the Dabar, with this word, with the Dhamma of Yahshua HaMashiach. Have not hath, hath, that have brought thee, hath he not made you and established you? Has he not established us by his word, Israel? He has established us by his word, that our foots not slip, that we not fall, Israel. Unto sin, unto corruption. As long as we abide in his Torah and keep his mitzvah, Yisraeli, we shall stand assured our footsteps will not slip. He says, Remember the days of old. Do you remember the days of old, Yisraeli? Do we consider? Consider the years of many generations. He said, Ask your father, your avat, and he will show you. Why? Because he experienced things. That you have not experienced, that you have not seen, that you have only heard. He said, ask your avat, and he will show you, and the elders of Zakain, and they will tell you. Verse 8. When Yahweh Most High divided to the nations their inheritance, when he separated the sons of Adam, he set the bounds of the people according to the number of the children of Yisrael. And it says here in verse 9. For Yahweh's portion is his people. Yaakov. That's his portion. His people. Yaakov. Is his lot. We are his possession, Israel. We are his people. We are his lot. Of his inheritance. We are the inheritance of Almighty Yah. Verse 10. What I want to get to here. He found him in a desert land. And in the waste howling wilderness. Did not he find us in the wilderness, Yisrael? Did he not deliver us out of this mindset of this mind of wilderness, Yisrael? He led him about. He instructed him. He kept him as the apple of his eye. Of his eye. Hallelujah. Did not Dawid cry unto Yahweh to keep? To guard, to watch, to preserve, understanding that he is the weaker vessel. He says, keep, he has kept him. He has kept Yaakov. He has kept the lie. He has kept the zero, the seed of Yaakov, as the apple of his eye. He instructed him. He kept him. As the apple of his eye. I desire Yahweh to keep us, Yisrael, as the apple of his eye. Just as Dawid cried. Here in Tehillim chapter 17. He said, keep me in verse 8. Tehillim chapter 17 verse 8. Keep me as the apple 
as the bath. The one that brings you pleasure, Almighty God. That submit unto your Torah. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. He also says here in verse 9. From what? From the wicked that oppress me. From my soul's enemies who can pass me round about. Whether we realize it or not, when we're out there amongst the world, Israel, the world, are, they're not our friend. They're our enemy. They can pass us wild about. Not only that, but even the thoughts that can pass us, that surround us, that try to, to, inf- that tries to enter into our mind, try to overcome the Torah which Yahweh had placed in our love, Yisrael, Yah. And if we would give just a, a moment to a thought of wickedness, that we open the door for the flood of the enemy to come in, Yisrael, Yah. So we must guard, we must keep. We must abide in the stature of Almighty Yahweh. We must watch constantly, just as a warrior would, every move. Everything that we do, Yisrael, Yah. Verse 9. From the wicked that oppress me, from my soul's enemies who can pass me round about. That we says here in verse 10, they are enclosed in their own fat. They are enclosed. They are covered up by the fatness of their own sin and their own iniquity. They're heavy. They are weighed down. It says, with their mouth, they speak. Proudly, did not that we say? I do not speak with feigned lips. I do not exalt myself above your word, your mishpah, your Torah. He said they speak proudly with their mouths. It says they now compass us in our steps. Did not he say that my footsteps not slip? But you know that the enemy compass or they surround the way of the path, Israel, as if they were a stumbling block. The Torah speaks specifically as the iniquity of one being as a stumble block. It calls us to slip. It calls us to fall. It calls us to stumble, Yisrael. And we allow the enemy to be as our stumbling block or our iniquity, Yisrael, then we will fall continuously every time. Every little thing will cause us to fall. There will be no strength in our legs. There will be no, 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 um, Courage or strength, Yisrael, or Imuna, to stand upon the sure foundation, Yahshua HaMashiach. He said, they now come past us in our steps, in our way, in the path of the Torah and your Mishra of Almighty Yahweh. He said, they have set their eyes bowing down to the earth, like as a lion that is greedy for its prey. Is it not what the enemy does? Do not he lay aside seeking whom he may devour, going forth as a roaring lion? He's just waiting for the right opportunity, Israel. That's why we must keep the Torah of Almighty Yahweh. That must, that's why we must abide in his statue. That's why we must keep the testimony of Yahshua HaMashiach. Like a lion that is greedy for his prey, his prey. As it were a young lion lurking in secret places. The enemy, they lie and they wait, Yisrael. Even in this path, even in this direction, even in this way, Yisrael. If we allow to go to the left or to the right, there are traps. There are snares. There are stumbling blocks, Yisrael. That's why we must keep our eyes focused. We must keep our minds focused upon the Mishra, upon the Torah of our money. We're watching every movement, every step that we take, making sure that it is planted on the sure foundation of Yahshua HaMashiach. That we have no reason to bring shame, Israel, to the name of Almighty Yahweh. He says here in verse 13, Arise, O Yahweh, disappoint them, cast him down. He says, Deliver my nephesh, my soul, from the wicked, which is your sword. Isn't that something? It said the wicked is the sword of Almighty Yahweh. Those that walk 
contrary, the rasha, the wicked, they are the sword of Almighty Yahweh. They have been ordained to do just what they're doing, Atmakiah, just what they're doing tonight. But yet they are the sword of Almighty Yah. So Yahweh said, disappoint them, Almighty Yahweh. Deliver my nephesh, deliver our soul. Even though we are in the world, we're not of the world. We don't walk by the same spirit of the world. We don't take the same path as the world. Deliver us from the wicked, which is your sword, Almighty Yahweh. From men which are your hand, O Yahweh. From men of the world, which have their portion in this life. They have their portion. They have their inheritance in this life. Whose belly you fill with your hid treasures. Who does it? Almighty Yahweh. He said, whose belly you fill with your hid treasure. With the hidden thing. It says there are full children and leaves the rest of their substance unto their babes. But we have an inheritance, Almighty Yisra'ya and Almighty Yahweh. He has given us an inheritance that the wicked shall never experience, that they never shall take partake in Yisra'ya. Verse 15 to Helium 17, the last verse in this chapter. He said, as for me, it be no sin all this, being amongst the heathen, seeing that they are made fat by the physical things, the things that do not last. He said, as for me, he said, I will behold. He said, I will not allow my eye to be taken off of your path, off of the mishva, my mind, my eyes being taken off of the prize, the Torah of Almighty Yahweh. He said, I will not allow these things to to entice me. As for me, he said, I will behold. Who will? He said, I will. He said, it's my tough pleasure. It is, it is me. It is the essence of what you have placed in me, Almighty Yahweh. He said, I will behold your face in righteousness. Do we behold the face of Almighty Yahweh in righteousness, Yisrael Yah? Or do we behold what the wicked have? Do we behold what the wicked do? Do we allow those that are in camp and are in pass around us that are just lying and waiting for us to stumble they may devour the essence of the Torah that are within us, Yisra'ya? Are we taken by what the wicked are doing, the wealth of the wicked, the prosperity that are only for a moment, Yisra'ya? That we said, but as for me, I will. Behold, your face and righteousness. I will lift up my eyes unto the hill, unto the high place of Almighty Yahweh, Mount Zion, New Jerusalem. I will not allow the things of this life, the muck and the mire, to keep me or to keep my eyes from beholding your siddiq, your righteousness, your Torah, Almighty Yahweh. And he said, I shall be satisfied, my mind. Hallelujah. Sabah, I should be satisfied. What does that entail? Let me read that. Sabah, to be satisfied, be fulfilled, to be sated or filled, to be satisfied with. One's own fill of whatever one's love or heart's desire. And our heart's desire should be filled with the Ruach, the HaKodesh of Almighty Yahweh. To enrich. And it even says to glut. Hallelujah. Do we glut? Do we desire the, the Torah of Almighty Yahweh that we cannot get enough of it, Yisrael Yah? That's what, that's what Sabah means. That's what it means, Yisrael Yah. To be satisfied. More than enough. This is all that I need. All that we need is in Yahshua HaMashiach. He's satisfied. He's Sabah. 
Ahava he supplies. Life will be worthless without Yahshua HaMashiach, our Yahshua, our way. He said, I shall be satisfied. Let me read that again. Chapter 17, verse 15 to Helia. He said, as for me, even after all this that has been read before this verse 15 that we says, as for me, I will behold your face. I will not allow what the enemy does to deter me. The lust of the eye, the pride of life, they flaunt their life. They flaunt what they have. They boast, Almighty Yah. But I will behold your face. I will not allow these things to detour me off, off, off of your Dabar, your path, Almighty Yahweh. I will behold your face in Sadiq, in righteousness, and I shall be satisfied. That's enough. Just to behold the righteousness of Almighty Yahweh. Just us taking this time tonight just to open tidbits a little here and a little there in Torah. We should be satisfied. No matter what the wicked are doing, out of sight, out of mind, we're going to lock all that out. We're going to enter into the bayat of Almighty Yahweh on this Shabbat Eve, this preparation for tomorrow, the day of Almighty Yahweh, that we rest in Yahshua HaMashiach. That we behold his Sadiq, his face, his righteousness. When I awake, do we behold his Sadiq, his face, his Panim? When we awake, Yisrael Yah. Is his Torah the first thing on our mind? Is his Mishvah the first thing on our mind, Yisrael Yah? He said, when I awake with your likeness. Hallelujah. He wasn't just talking about in the Sabi or just the death, Yisrael Yah. But he's also talking about when I awaken out of this slumber or this sleep. When I awaken out of this fleshly mindset. Even though I may be taken just for a moment. But when I awake, I awake unto your likeness. I allow the Torah to take over. I go into overdrive. Just as a vehicle, once you come out of those, those first couple of gears. And you, you sustain a certain speed, then overdrive. He said, I awake. I, I'm enlightened. I don't allow what the world does to detour me. I take my eyes off of them and I seek your face. I seek your Torah. I seek your Dabar. Why? Because it is that, it is your Torah. By your Torah, I have kept me from the paths of the destroyer. Is that not beautiful, Yisrael? That you can keep yourself as long as you walk in and abide by the Torah, the Mishvah of Almighty Yahweh, despite what goes on around us. Despite the confusion that goes on around us, Yisrael, Yah, Yahweh has set us on a straight and a narrow path. Why? For what? To keep me, to keep you, to keep us in his way. As Dawid desired unto Almighty Yahweh, he said, keep me as the bath. Keep me as the apple. Keep me as the delight, the thing that brings joy to your love. Keep me as the one you, you think of all the time, Almighty Yahweh. I'm in your thoughts. I'm in your mind. I'm in your love. Keep me as the bath. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hallelujah. Yahweh is tub, Yisrael. Yah. Hallelujah. Oh, give praise unto Yahweh for he is tub. The phone number is 843-658-6222. To, to. I have enjoyed this Shabbat Eve thoroughly. Only a few calls, Yisrael Yah, but it's been enough to fatten my love, my heart tonight, Yisrael Yah. Even the words of the Torah right here in Tehillim chapter 17, which brings a wealth of strength, of knowledge, of, of curiosity, even to find out even the most, the deepest things that are in Torah Right here, just in these verses, there's so much, Yisrael, Yah, to keep us busy for time and time to come. Hallelujah. That we say, I have kept me. I want to say that with the, the boldness and the reassurance, I have kept me. Despite all, I have kept me. No matter what is going on around me, I have kept me. The Torah, I have kept your Torah, I have kept the Mishra. It's what keeps me. It's what keeps my sanity. It's what keeps my mind established. It keeps me afloat. I'm not drowned by the 
rushing waters in the ways of the world. Hallelujah. But I know in whom I have imuna, I have trust, I have believed in. And I know through him that he is able to keep that which he has given me, that he has established in me, even until the end, until that day of all things. Hallelujah. Yahweh. I do tell Yahweh for this time tonight, Israel. Hallelujah. I tell you what, let's, let's listen to another song here tonight. It's a beautiful night, Israel. Yah. Yah has given us breath. Every moment is beautiful. Toda Yah. Hallelujah. 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 <laughs>
to keep us in Yahshua HaMashiach that gives us strength. Hallelujah. Before I bring this broadcast to a close tonight, Israel, as I go in, give me a little bite to eat before I lay down to bed to rest, Israel. I want to read this, a few verses here. Concerning Dawid in 2 Samuel chapter 22, I'm going to read verse 1. I'm going to skip down to verse 18. Because there are some verses in the latter that I do want to read. But it says here in verse 1, as we understand that Dawid, his life was being sought after to be snuffed out, to be taken from him. It says in verse 1, And Dawid spake unto Yahweh the words of this song. In the day that Yahweh had delivered him out of the hand of all of his enemies, and out of the hand of Saul. Down to verse 18. 18. And we'll just see maybe to verse 25. He said that Yahweh, he delivered me from my strong enemy. And from them that hath, that hateth me. For they were too strong for me. He said I was weak. I could not defend myself. It is Yahweh that has delivered me. Yahweh has kept me. He has kept me as the apple, as the breath of his eye. Verse 19. It said, they prevented me in the day of my calamity. But Yahweh was my stay. He was my refuge. He's my strength. He brought me forth also into a large place. He delivered me because he delighted in me. Ah, oh, he delighted in the apple, in the bath of his eye. He delighted in me. He said, Yahweh rewarded me according to my righteousness and according to the cleanliness of my hands hath he recompensed me. Oh, I want to be able to say that. How many of us can say that, Yisrael? Yeah. Oh, you can say that. It has been, we have been washed by the Dharma of Yahshua HaMashiach. His blood has cleansed our hands. Our hands are clean, Israel, through Yahshua HaMashiach. He said, you have rewarded me, in verse 21, according to my righteousness, according to the cleanliness of my hands, hath he recompensed me. And listen what it says here in verse 22. For I have kept, for I have kept the way of Yahweh. I have kept his dabar. I have kept his path. It is what, <clears throat> excuse me, it is what have preserved me from my enemy. And what has delivered me, I have found the Yasha and the Torah and his Mishfah. He said, For I have kept the way of Yahweh and have not wickedly departed from my Abba. He said, I have not wickedly departed. I have not done wicked things. My love have been cleansed. He has washed me. He has purged me. He has kept me from even the destruction of the hand of my enemy. Don't you know as Yahweh has kept you from destruction, Israel? Why? Because we are, you are the apple of his eye. It is by his righteousness. It's not by our own righteousness. It's not any tough thing that we have done. But it's only according to his mercies. His Ahava, hallelujah, that he has delivered us, Yisrael. It says in verse 23, for all his judgments were before me. Are the judgments of Yahweh before us, Yisrael? Is his commandments before us? Is his judgments before us? He says, for all of his judgments, his mispah. For all of his judgments were before me. And as for his statutes, I did not depart from them. He said, I was also upright before him. And I have kept myself from my iniquity. So next time someone says you cannot keep yourself, you can call them 
devil, child of hell, go to hell. Because I have kept me. It is by the Torah, because I have abided in the Torah of Almighty Yahweh, I have kept me. You can keep yourself. You can keep yourself, Yisrael, through the Torah, through Yahshua HaMashiach, by the Dom, by the Ruach HaKadosh of Almighty Yahweh. You can't get around that, the word of Yahweh. We have no excuse. We are without excuse, Yisrael. But we have every excuse to stand, to walk, and to continue in the Torah of Almighty Yahweh. Let me read that verse again. Verse 24. I was also upright before him and have kept myself from mine iniquity. Verse 25. Let me read on. Therefore, Yahweh hath recompensed me according to my righteousness, according to my cleanliness, in his sight. He said, with the merciful, that will show yourself merciful, Almighty Yahweh. The Hasid, the merciful. Your Hasid, Almighty Yahweh. With your Hasid, you will show yourself Hasid. And with the upright man, you will show yourself upright. So let us walk upright, Yisrael Yah. Let us allow the mind of Yahshua HaMashiach to lead, to guide, to show, to enlighten our path, our footsteps, that we may continue in the path that Yahweh has elected us to walk in, that we keep ourselves, and that we proclaim, I have kept me. He said, it is by my righteousness right here in 2 Samuel 22. It is by my righteousness, verse 26, 22 through 26, that I have kept me. It has preserved me because I have not walked outside of your statutes. I have not walked outside of your path, Almighty Yahweh. Let me read this, the last verse tonight, verse 28. And the afflicted people you will save, but thy eyes are upon the haughty that thou mayest bring them down. That we said, I pray this into helium. Unto you, Alma Yahweh, I do not speak with feigned lips. I do not lift myself. It's not haughty. With a haughty spirit that I may be heard. But I am meek and I'm lowly. I am the apple of your eye. I am the bath. I'm the weak one, Almighty Yahweh. But yet in you I do find the strength and the fortitude that I may keep me in your paths. I may keep your Torah. That I may walk. And the light of your mishvah as it lead and as it guides me. Hallelujah. Do we have any other calls tonight, Yisrael? Are you listening? Tonight? Hallelujah. The phone number is 843-658-6222. I'm going to bring this broadcast to a close because, in all honesty, I am hungry. Hallelujah. Be it my love is fat. By the manna. That Almighty Yahweh has given us on this Shabbat Eve. Hallelujah. I'm looking forward to the Shabbat. Hallelujah, Yahweh. The service, Yisrael, as we seek the Torah and Yah's will, what He has for us on tomorrow. Hallelujah. Let me play this last song before I end this tonight, Yisrael. The phone number is 843 658 62 Two, two. Can we get another caller on the line? Hallelujah, way. Told the Yah.
Keeping us, Israel, yet another week, another day, another Shabbaton. Uh, to all Israel, I do want to say Shabbat Shalom. That Yahweh will give his beloved rest and sleep tonight. That we rest in the assurance, in the reassurance of his Torah, his words of life, Israel. His words are not words of death, but they're words of life. Even in death, there's life, Israel. Hallelujah. Because it is him that has created all things. Life, death. He has created pain. All those things, Israel. But yet he has given us an assurance in his word, in his mishvah, that shall stand forever. Ever. Why? Because what he speaks is from the life or the essence of whom he is, Israel. And he has written that which he has spoken. His testimony, his mishvah, his Torah. In the hearts of Yisra'ya and Yisra'ya alone. So that is worth more. Even the little, the miot, that a Sadiq man has is worth more and has, carries more weight than all the riches of the wicked. Hallelujah. So I say tonight, Shabbat Shalom, Ko Yisra'ya. Join with us on Shabbat morning tomorrow. As we enter the bayat of Almighty Yahweh, where his name is written. Hallelujah. Shabbat Shalom, Ko Yisrael.